welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. Yeah, a quick one. Uh, you listen to Independent TV 7. Will Buari vote for Tinubu? Uh, that is uh, the article for today, and uh, is more or less like a question. Uh, to puzzle. Uh, Muhammad Buari uh, started his presidency with I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. I will end as a nobody's a man. Sometimes and for some, it is uh, gracious to maintain one's lane and listen to your own vision. Single on a the French statesman Charles de Gaulle. Uh, who owns uh, the copyright of I am a man who belongs uh, to nobody and who belongs to everybody at the same time. Uh, deeply said on another occasion that if uh, Johan Ack had married, she would no longer have been Johan of Ack. Uh, whatever that means, uh, Johan was a uh, 15th century Francis uh, Iron Lady of War and Vision. He believed that at uh, age 19, uh, she had no time for men and their uh, marriage. And a family, and also, but she is uh, remembered forever as a savior of France and it's a patron uh, saint. Uh, Buari was, and from what we have seen of this year, is no Charles the girl, and uh, definitely not the Joan of Arc to Nigeria. And after benefiting from a political marriage, uh, can Buari be neutral, truly non aligned in the 2023 presidential contest? Will he? And that's the question. And if he wants, where is he? I will be shocked uh, if I am the only person uh, who wonders where Buhari belongs. Uh, between the uh, PDPs that he could, Abu Bakr and uh, APCs, uh, Bola, Ahmed, uh, Tinubu. Uh, two Brazilian friends are uh, fighting over the presidency and president seat. Uh, you know, Atiku's uh, party and Bola, Ahmed, Tinubu's party. And the zero sum ground did hold. Uh, the two were part of a National coalition that made a Buhari's a presidency possible in 2015. There are persons uh, who vow that for that reason, underguided by reasons of a region and a region, Atiku may in 2023 get Buhari's a vote or at worst get him not to lift a finger for the APC or Progressive Congress and its a uh, Milokan candidate. Well, that's Tinubu. Uh, very interestingly, uh, Buhari clocked the 18 on Saturday. Yeah, that's 80 years. And Atiku, a candidate of men of the main opposition party, not only issued a statement to celebrate uh, the APC president, he, instru he instructively uh, placed the newspaper advertisement for him. So what is happening? In two months to a uh, presidential election, uh, Buhari is not a conversing vote for his party. He's asking Nigerians to vote for any candidate of their choice. <laughs> they fancy uh, that is strange. Uh, we saw President Barack Obama with a uh, candidate Hillary Clinton throughout the Democratic Party's uh, campaign of 2016. Uh, one newspaper, a uh, New Telegraph, uh, reported two days ago that Tinubu's men fret over a uh, Buhari uh, government's uh, alphness. <laughs> reporters hear uh, stories. Uh, you reporters hear stories. Now, uh, that was not the first time I had uh, I've heard of a grumbling and a rumbling in the ruling of Progressive Congress Party APC over presidential social distancing in the APC campaigns, in the APC you know jurisdiction, in the APC constituency, in the APC camps. I know the legal the context of the APC and their supporters are wondering why Buhari has refused to be part of their candidates' uh, global truthing campaigns. I know you would say that uh, the president was at the flag of of the campaigns at the Rwanda Palm Township Stadium in Jaws on November 15, 2022. Uh, was his presence real, body and spirit and soul? That's a question. Uh, someone said that uh, they begged that the president not to disgrace them by not uh, being physically there. If that is true, his presence therefore uh, may be what the Yoruba call Bajen Simi. Uh, think, let me rest. The newspaper uh, report is what a uh, quoting <coughs> uh, is copiously, uh, copiously or subsidious uh, or thereabout. And I am uh, doing so because it appears to tally with uh, what I have heard in low tones in several APC uh, crevices, uh, APC antecedent and APC you know narrative. Well, I quote the report. I must tell you that uh, the situation that we, or Tinubu supporters, uh, have found ourselves is that. Is that of an abandoned orphan? It is unfortunate that uh, we have been left in the cold by government that was elected on the platform of our great party 
the APC and uh, we are campaigning like an opposition party just uh, jostling for power and not like a party and under a power or in power uh, which is uh, the all progressive congress uh, uh, having the administration to themselves uh, which is a very very unfortunate uh, do power, which is very unfortunate. Do we recognize that the president has a busy schedule uh, that would have uh, prevented him from being at many of the rallies of the party? I don't think uh, he has uh, demonstrated a sufficient interest to know uh, the situation of things uh, with the campaign efforts. Uh, the New Telegraph said that its source, an influential member of the Southwest agenda for Bola Metinumbu, which is the swagger, you know, in print. It was sad that the uh, ministers uh, and the other key government officials had been distancing themselves from the campaigns. The question is, uh, safe for the Minister of State for Labour and Employment? Now, Mr. Festus Kiyamu, uh, who is one of the uh, spokesmen, how many of the ministers and government officials have openly shown uh, support and solidarity uh, with the campaign since we commenced? Now, the report, however, uh, which quoted Kiyamu as uh, declaring that Buhari is the heart and soul behind the campaign. He wants free and fair elections, uh, but he is with Ashiwaji more than 100%. He didn't say anything about Buhari's men, who are not busy like the president, but are perpetually absent in the party's uh, campaign life. Well, a significant year is Kiyamu's friend, Erotimi Amechi, and similar tendencies in the party. Where are they now? That's another question. Yeah, where are they? But not to puzzle more because of time. Buari enjoys uh, being aloof and staying far from the maddened crowd. Ironically, it was the madness of that crowd that rescued him in 2015. Now, today, is a nobody's man. What does it mean to be a nobody's man in this world of help me, I will help you? Now, Danish singer and songwriter Tina Diko. Uh, dropped a hint in our love uh, lines uh, with the title Nobody's Man. Uh, take what you want from me, take what you can, and then hide it somewhere I can't see. Out of my hands, out of my sight, do what it takes to make you feel better. Never forget that you, uh, you are nobody's man. And then what kind of a friend or lover takes uh, what he wants from his partner, then eats it where the benefactor can't see it. And out of our ends, a friend who saw me struggling with this on Sunday wondered why I was weeping more than the breathed. Uh, he told me, did Tinubu not say famously that he was the one who single-handedly uh, singularly uh, made Buari president after three disastrous uh, defeats? Now let uh, Tinubu now do for himself what he boasted he did for the uh, perpetually unelectable Buari. He does not need Buari. I was tempted to agree with my friend. Uh, this is time, and this is the time for Tinubu's uh, physician. And that's what it is. And uh, now, <laughs> who is Buari's uh, physician? The Buari's uh, physician is what we've read and uh, we've seen so far. And uh, if we're going to you know, go by the time, uh, we may not have uh, what it takes to draw the curtain. And this is where I'm going to do that. And uh, I would like to share this in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and share this news. And you know, hit the like button for notification and all that so that I can get more news. Thanks for listening and God bless you.